Hey, thanks for coming in. Tonight's dinner is going to be Colby ribs. These Colby ribs have been marinating, believe it or not, in Sweet Baby Ray's teriyaki sauce. I'm just putting those on the grill, so why even bother filming that? What's for dinner tonight? What's for dinner tonight? What's for dinner tonight? Well, what's to dinner for tonight? I just told you what was for dinner tonight. Okay. The ribs. Stay focused, Donnie. What's tomorrow's dinner, he said. Well, tomorrow's dinner, I'm actually doing a meatloaf, and I'm actually going to smoke it on my Traeger grill. So what have I got with my meatloaf? I've got one pound of hamburger ground chuck, one pound of ground pork. And with that, I've got a red onion, I've got some celery, I have green and orange bell pepper, I got a teaspoon of fresh rosemary, a teaspoon of fresh thyme, I got a few squirts of garlic, minced garlic, I'm gonna have some salt, two eggs, heavy whipping cream, pepper, ketchup, breadcrumbs, Dijon mustard, I already said ketchup, and Worcestershire sauce. So, what I'm going to do today is I am going to saute the veggies, all the veggies, in my Instant Pot. And I'm doing it on the Instant Pot, why? Because it's easier than going to the stove. So my butter has been on saute, and I'm gonna throw the veggies in now. So there's the onion. There's the celery. Here's the multicolored bell pepper. I wanted red, and you know, the market didn't have red. I was very upset. I'm going to be reporting them soon. So, let's get all this just sitting in here sizzling. Now I'm going to put a little bit of salt here, just to pinch, so that these veggies get to sweat. Now, have you ever seen a meatloaf where the veggies are being sauteed prior? I saw um, on TV about 10 years ago, I think it was, it was, it was Emeril Lagasse who uh, talked about sauteing the veggies ahead of time, soften them up, get them flavorful, and uh, especially to add the fresh thyme, fresh rosemary, and the garlic. That's all going to meld really nice in there. And once these veggies are, are cooled off, I'm going to mix them with the breadcrumbs, the ketchup, everything you see here. I'm going to mix it all together. I'm going to throw in the ground chuck and the pork. I'm going to mold it into a loaf, and I'm just going to put it back in the refrigerator until tomorrow. So today it's about, how hot is it today, Johnny? Ooh, at least ooh. 100. He said, ooh, at least 100. I think it's 103 outside. As you can see, I'm wearing this little shirt, but you may hear the air conditioner because we're feeling comfortable at 72. So it's cool. Okay. So these are gonna cook for a few more minutes. Um, and then when we come back, I'll mix everything together. Um, actually, I'm not mixing anything together. They need to cool off before I add everything else back. So we'll be back in a bit. See ya. Oh, it's hot in here. So we're back and I'm gonna add in now the remaining ingredients. This, these have cooled off all the veggies. So I'm gonna add in the egg. That's right, the egg. I'm gonna add in a teaspoon or so, if I can get this out here, of the uh, Dijon mustard. Yeah, we're just gonna right in there. That looks like about a teaspoon. I'm gonna throw in the ketchup. As you can see, I throw it, threw it in. The Worcestershire sauce, just about just like that. And the heavy cream. Okay. So we're just gonna mix this all up. Really get these combined. Combined. We're gonna combine, I say, we're gonna combine them, boy. Everybody remember Foghorn Leghorn? That was him. Well, that was my rendition of him. Okay, you see, it looks a little creamy. It does, it does, it does. Because now we're gonna add in the pork and the ground beef. Okay, so let's just get in there, get our hands in there. Get this bowl away. Get these bowls away. And I'm gonna add in the breadcrumbs. Okay, now, I'm going to fold this in with this uh, spoon here. 
some of a spoon actually. It's actually a rice ladle that they use in Hawaii. All you Hawaiian folk remember this? Of course we do. Okay, so now it's at the point where I need to get my hands in there. And that's what I'm going to do. So let me take off my rings. Got to take off my rings. Let me wash my hands. Oh, and got to put in some salt. Okay. So, when all this is all nice and mixed in, and you don't want to over mix a meatloaf, you really don't want to, get it all combined in there. Now again, this is the looks, you say, hey, it looks a little wet. It does look a little wet. And it's gonna sit really nicely in the fridge. I'm really not gonna form it, yeah, I think I will. I'll form it into a loaf, put it on a pan, cover it up with uh, some saran wrap, and let all these flavors develop in fire. Let me run some hands again. Okay, so. I'm gonna clean up a little bit here, and when we come back, I'm gonna put it all in a little pan and put it in the fridge, and you'll see. And here is the work of art. See, so now I molded it into a meatloaf, and you can see all the veggies are in there. Isn't that nice and pretty? Meatloaf? It looks like a fruitcake from the 70s. Who you calling a fruitcake, boy? Let me tell you. Yeah, so, um, and it's gonna tighten up in the fridge. Remember how loose it was? It's already tightening up as it is. I'm gonna put my little cellophane over it, my cellophant. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. It's gonna sit there all night. These flavors are gonna marry and be ready to go around uh, about three o'clock. I'm gonna put it on the smoker. I'm gonna smoke it at 275. I'll probably put some hickory and some cherry wood, maybe apple, a good blend. Uh, it'll be at 275 for about four hours. When it's about that time, I'm gonna put my favorite barbecue sauce on it, put it back there probably for another 15 or 20 minutes. You want the temperature to be about 160 degrees, not anything over that. So uh, that's the meatloaf there. And it's quarter to five. And what does that mean, Donnie? Quarter to five means? Cocktail time. Cocktail time. So we'll see you back tomorrow. Hey, how you doing? So. I'm back with the meatloaf. If you remember, last night I put it all together, put it on a plate and put it in the fridge overnight. And if you also remember, it was a little bit soft and I said it would eventually set up once it was in the fridge. And it has, it's set up really nicely. And I transferred it to a foil lined baking sheet. I coated the, uh, this wire rack here with some canola oil so the meatloaf doesn't stick. So now the last thing I'm gonna do, I have the uh, smoker outside at 275. It's not quite up to 275. I think it was about 255. And um, so it'll be ready in a bit. So let me just talk a little bit about some rubs. With this meatloaf today, I'm going to use Killer Hogs Barbecue Rub. This is a really a good rub on pork, on ribs, um, even on chicken. It's really a an all-purpose rub. But there are other rubs. I've got a whole slew of rubs and Donnie's probably really mad at me because I won't stop spending money on the rubs. But uh, Meat Churches is also another good brand. This one is Honey Hog Hot. So it's got a little bite to it. And this one is Honey Hog Barbecue, just the regular one. This is good. I have used it before, but today I'm going to use Killer Hogs. So we want to get a nice dusting. And I, even though it's seasoned, I'm going to get a nice dusting for a little bit of flavor as well as a little color. It's going to get a nice color. You want to get the sides too, so sometimes you gotta... And that'll be fine. Okay, so when the uh, trigger gets to 275, we'll go outside and put it on. Okay, so we're out of the trigger. And as you can see, it's got about, it's sitting here at about 296. It's a really hot day. This is gonna level off, it just went to 291. And um, it's gonna level off at 275. 
as you can see in here, this is my hopper. It holds 20 pounds, and I've got a blend of hickory, maple, and uh, apple, apple wood. And that's going to go for the whole full four-hour smoke. Okay, so here's my trigger. I'm just going to put it right on the grill, and I'm going to walk away. I'm going to come back out here in about one hour and temp it. It should be somewhere around, around 116 to 125 degrees, and I don't want it to go more than 160, and that'll take about four hours. So we'll be back in an hour and see where the temp is. Okay, it's been about an hour and five minutes. I had to wait for Donnie to come back to, from the store. And let's temp it here. Donnie, get the temp. That's about 118, 116, so it's perfect after one hour. Um, we'll check it back in. As you can see, it's starting to brown really nicely. And um, when it hits about 155, 157, I'm going to slap on some of my favorite barbecue sauce. We want it to get to about 160 um, and take it off because it will have off cooking time. But we really want it to be about 165. So we'll come back in another hour and see where we're at. Hey there. So, check out at the meatloaf. Okay, so let's just temp it here. Showing about 157, 150, yeah, 157, which is good. And we decided we're gonna have dinner a little bit later tonight. And we have a mash, a garlic mashed potato on the stove. So what I'm gonna do is turn my temperature down 25 degrees to 250. I'm going to cook it a little slower. This is what's great about a smoker. And you can adjust your timing and uh, so it comes out later. So I'm going to apply the glaze right now. I'm going to apply this glaze. And since I'm at a lower temperature, I'm going to just let this sit and uh, really kind of uh, tighten up and give it a nice glaze. So when it's done, it's going to be uh, nice and glazed and you know a nice work of art hopefully that's going to be the plan so I'm going to get oh. also gives a really great, great flavor just love it is that what it does yes okay get this all around look at my little bell pepper fall off over there now I've never done a smoked beet loaf before I've done this recipe many times um, and cooked it in the oven. So this is the first time I'm doing it on a smoker. I thought, why not? Um, that's why I bought this appliance. And, uh, boy, that looks really good. So I'm gonna check this out. I'm gonna pull it off at about maybe 158, 159 and let it cook. It's gonna still be uh, cooking off heat. So I'll turn this off, take it in the kitchen. It's still going to be a, a few more degrees, and, but I want it around 163 to 165. So I'm going to turn the thing down, and we'll see you back in a minute. Hey, so look at the meatloaf. It is now um, completely done, and it's at about 162. I want to get it to 165. So my mashed potatoes is keeping warm. I'm just going to put this in my convection oven at a, at a warm to keep it there. Um, until we're ready to eat. So, there you go, smoked meatloaf. We'll see what it really tastes like. I've never had smoked meatloaf before, but I'm gonna try it for the first time tonight. Oh, here we are, we're back. So, I plated this um, meatloaf and the mashed potato. Donnie doesn't wanna be on film. He's already made that clear, he doesn't like it. So, he's gonna film me, and I'm gonna taste the mashed potato. I have a little bit of horseradish also in this mashed potato here. Mm. You know, I said that I've never done this meatloaf on a smoker. Has a totally different flavor. You can taste actually the, the hickory and the apple and the maple wood from the smoker. It sat there for about three and a half hours. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good. How do you know? You haven't tasted it. Nor did he want to. Let's remember, Donnie is the one to be on film. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's a light smoke ring on here from the smoker. This is really good. 
Mm. You know, I'm amazed. It wasn't too long ago that I decided like, I think I want to start cooking. And I, I remembered a few things from my mom. I started watching, believe it or not, Rachel Ray, 30 Minute Meals, somewhere around 16, 17 years ago. And now here we are today. During this quarantine, um, I've come a long way, which is really nice, I have to say. Long way to go, lots of things to learn. And this meatloaf is really good. Mmm. It's really good. What do you say, Jackson? You think it's good? I think he thinks it is too. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Take care.